this quiz that we're having. You know, if you sit closer to the window, you can see out it better. <laughs> so far, not too bad. I was expecting to be blown right out the window. It's a little guy caught out in the rain. I don't see him. He's literally right there walking in the rain. Thinking that might be a hot dog or a soon to be hot dog. She looks like there's something in there. Lord, this is the one we should check out. You should cry. I don't need to do that. I'll let him get out of sight for the rest of my life. We saw this buck a um, half a dozen times probably hunting down in that shack. He's a nice buck, but I think given a year or two, he could be a monster buck. I think he's probably, well, I'm not very good at aging on the hoof, but I think he's probably around two and a half years old or in his third fall. Give him another year and he could, he could really explode. Just to be clear, I don't really care that he's only got seven points. I don't usually look at points when deciding when to when or how to shoot. Overall, I look for how old they are. That's what I usually look for. Sometimes I get caught up in looking at the times, but would you have shot this deer? Uh, let me know. I passed him. Lord willing, he'll be there next year. We have uh, taken the hint from a farmer. He said he saw a big buck here this morning. He went to the corn late morning. We're thinking that he's not far from here, so that, that's why we're in a new spot. We're trusting the people who didn't work here. And there's there's at least one really big buck track going through here. It's not typically a spot that we uh, that we hunt, so we we haven't been we've been striking out. Let's put it that way. And so this morning we had a wind that wasn't good for any of our spots, so we drove around and everything we saw. The deer and the big bucks were congregating near standing corn. And the neighbor has standing corn over here just to the north. And from our intel, the deer come around, the buck comes out and spray, scrapes along here and works his way up to the oats to eat. We'll see. It's just kind of on a whim. We don't really have a good setup for this farm. It's just a big open, big open field with no real good way to get in. That's why I've never set up any tree stands or anything. It's kind of a travel corridor normally. But with corn over there, I bet he's staying right in there.
was. I'm still shaking a little, but he ended up being closer than I thought he was. I estimated 50 yards. He came right at us. And I couldn't range him. He was looking right at us, and we're just sitting on the ground. That's where we were hunting. So I hit him high, but he gushed blood. I'm sure I got that artery. Well, it's the next day, and as you can see, we didn't uh, recover. We didn't see any recovery because there was no recovery. We didn't find them. We had really good bl blood right at, well, into the neighbor's corn. And then he stepped out into an opening, and there was a few drops, and then just turned off. We must have trailed him for four or five hours just just looking for more blood looking for him and he just wasn't there there was no sign of him I'm sure I think he's dead but Shannon thinks he's alive and well which I kind of hope I hope he's alive because that means I'll I might get a second chance at him. you guys saw the shot you can see it again tell us what you think is he dead? Is he alive? I know the shot was high, but the amount of blood, it was bright red blood. I think I hit that main artery up there. I forget what it's called, but I think I hit it, and I think he's dead. Shannon thinks he's alive based on how the blood just dried up, but it didn't dry up until about 500 yards, so he lost a lot of blood. So tell us what you think. Either way, it was still a fun hunt. I wish my hands were on them times, but every hunter does. 
But I think he's dead. He's dead and not found. And that's a sad state to be. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Well, there's no buck in the truck. Nope. But I still had a lot of fun. You know he always does what you ask him to do. <laughs> I don't know about that. Every time. If you want to have a prayer answered, have a God-fearing, Bible-believing, Jesus-loving woman pray for you. Just watch. Just watch the Father work. Next time, though, you need to pray for a buck in the truck, not just for a good time. Sorry. I should have done that. Still was good. <laughs> then he spoke a parable unto them, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying, There was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him, saying, Get justice for me from my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I do not fear God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect, who cry out day and night to him, though he bears along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth?